Hello everyone, I am Casually. I want to start this video out by saying that I love the Druid and the Necromancer from Diablo 2. And when Diablo 3 came out, there was no Druid, but in Diablo 4 there is. And this perspective will be from the first beta period. I waited to make this video to see how they're rebalancing classes because the community considered the Druid weak, with a majority of them saying the Druid only had one viable build. I will be showing the build I used during the beta period. I also want to mention that on May 12th through 14th, they're having another beta where you can go earn the previous beta rewards and a new mount from killing the world boss Ashlava. However, during this beta you're locked to level 20 so the world boss will be more difficult and the changes to all classes they made will be available during this beta. Now, on to that build I mentioned. It's a dot build, or damage over time, which mainly comes from the werewolf form. You focus on dishing out poison status and spreading it, I want you to do it. Spread it to as many targets as possible which ties into your werewolf howl which lets you kill a percentage of your max HP when you do. I have always enjoyed damage over time builds in games, it's mainly why I play Brand in League of Legends, and why I transitioned to Warlock on World of Warcraft after playing Paladin for so long. That playstyle is just fun to me. Keep in mind during the first beta we were only able to get to a max level 25, and the Druid's class feature, Spirit Boons, were unlocked through a quest line which was in an area we couldn't access, so as a Druid we didn't have access to a class feature. I also want to mention that I will have varying amounts of footage because I didn't get this build going until the beta was close to ending, so I'll be using a website to show the ability names and tooltips. One more thing to keep in mind is that these abilities and values may change before release. Meanwhile, the Necromancer had their class feature from the start and well... <laughs> the fucking all the corpses are piling up, so I'm like, you know what, let's build up some essence and... <laughs> it was strong. And got adjusted accordingly, as well as getting some nice quality life changes that it needed, like making their skeletons not look like a giant beacon. Anyway, we begin with the claw attack basic skill, which shapes just so you know where will form, and then you claw an enemy for damage and generate 9 spirit, which is your resource you use for abilities. Think of spirit like mana for a wizard or a mage. The talent we go for behind Claw is called Fierce Claw, and it makes it so that Claw applies poison damage over 6 seconds. We then move into our core skill, also known as your first spending ability, which consumes your spirit resource to do damage. Here we're going to be picking up Shred, which shapes a few into werewolf form, during which you perform a trio of combo attacks with each attack dealing more damage than the previous attack. And for the talent behind Shred, we reach for Raging Shred, which makes the third combo attack larger and cleave in a larger area and it applies additional poison damage over 5 seconds. This not only gives us more range and cleave, but as well as add to our poison damage. Next, we move into our defensive skill, and this is where our sustain comes from with Blood Howl. With this skill, you shapeshift into werewolf form and unleash a blood curdling howl that heals you for 20% of your maximum life. And behind it, we go for the enhanced Blood Howl, which reduces the cooldown of Blood Howl by 1 second for each kill. The path then splits into two different choices. You can choose Innate Blood Howl or Preserving Blood Howl. Preserving gives you increased attack speed for 4 seconds after you howl, and Innate Blood Howl gives you 20 spirit when you howl, giving you more resources to spend. I chose Innate Blood Howl because howling and getting 20 resource back every single time you howl, along with the fact that like the cooldown reduces every single time you get kills, this just kind of fed into each other. So like get kills, howl, get resource and healing back. Get more kills, howl, get more resource and healing back. You, you get the idea. After that, we move into our companion tree, and all the OGs from Diablo 2 will already know what I'm reaching for here. Yes, we're going for the Vine Creeper, which says, passively, a Vine Creeper will emerge from the ground every 7 seconds and applies poison damage over 6 seconds to one enemy in the area. But, when activated, the Vine strangles all your surrounding enemies, mobilizing them for 2 seconds and applying poison damage over 2 seconds. Here you can go for one of two things, you can go Enhance Vine Creeper, which makes it mobilize last longer, or you can do Ferocious, which makes the poison duration from Vine Creeper active lasts 3 seconds longer. Keep in mind that the poison lasting longer is only from the active portion of the Vine Creeper's ability, not the passive. Finally, we move into the final skill we could reach during the beta, and this is our Wrath skill. This is where it gets fun. We get the Rabies skill, where you shapeshift into werewolf form and perform an infectious bite to the target, applying additional poison damage over 6 seconds, and affected enemies spread Rabies to other nearby targets. We grab two things from this Rabies tree. First of all, we grab Enhanced Rabies, making it so the poison damage ramps over the course of the disease, dealing 30% bonus damage at the max duration. And we also grab natural rabies, which lets our rabies spread 100% faster, so it doubles the speed at which our rabies spread. Now, when the full game launches, you will have access to an ultimate skill and a key passive, which heavily modifies your build. I will update this build when the game launches, but for now, this is what I used, and it was a lot of fun. You poison enemies and spread it to others when they die, you howl and you heal up, rinse and repeat. It was a fun build. For stats, I would focus on fighting items that increase poison damage and damage over time, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have fun with the build. Consider liking and subscribing. And I will be making more Diablo 4 content when the game launches. And I might even do some stuff 
when the upcoming beta comes out. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you later.